Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. I'm Matthew Fortier from University Motors. We've been instructed by our listeners to face the camera while we're speaking, not turn around until we get some mics, because sometimes it's very difficult to hear when we're turned around. So I'll do my best to watch the camera. Here we have an, an E3L Dynamo, Lucas Dynamo, from a 1954 BSA motorcycle. Not the usual kind of stuff we fiddle with. Anyway, we've just had him all apart, taken, uh, cleaned up the commutator, cleaned the brushes, corrected the wiring, and uh, we're just about ready. We've got our control box here. We've got our battery, 6-volt battery hooked up here. And we're just about ready to uh, test this to see if anything happens. So we have our ignition warning light glowing here. And uh, now we're going to start him up and see if he does anything. Are you, you sure that we're going to go the right direction? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Well, I think what we'll do here, just for a moment, we're, gonna, we're going to uh, polarize the field here. and Just make sure we've got that sorted out. Polarizing the field is no more complicated than simply sparking the hot lead against the field. And if you watch, look, look at the dynamo here. Okay, cool, huh? So anyway, it, it's trying, to, it's trying to motor. So now we're going to try this again. Here's our ignition warning light between, between ground and our D terminal. We'll start him up. Nada, nothing's going on here. So we're going to try our. Try our two uh, connections again. Just try them, and uh, when we run the dynamo and connect these and then break them, we should get a spark. Let's try that. No spark. So are we uh, we're we're in here, okay? Let me try to. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we've got our, oh, which one's our field here? This is our field here. Okay. This is the problem we've been having is it's got an erratic connection. So, nothing. Nothing at all. did not shut her down. Usually when we're doing this, we find that out of the dynamo lead, out of our little fester bester tester here, uh, we're, out of the dynamo lead, we're usually getting uh, about, I don't know if you can zoom in on that or not, that's hard to see. Um, oh, look at that, it's not hard to see at all. Whoops, hard for me to hold on to this. Let's see how many volts we get out of our dynamo lead here. Go ahead. There's about about half a volt. That's more like that. There we go. About half a volt. Okay. So we know that's correct. But when we take that half a volt, we put it to the field, and then break it, we should get something. We should get something out of here, and we're not. So it's back to the drawing board. So, so anyway, this has been a very frustrating exercise trying to make this little tiny generator generate. You know, um, it's just a little tiny thing with exposed brushes, and doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't look frustrating, it doesn't look complicated, but let me tell you. Uh, it, uh, we're, uh, we are having a very good time trying to make this thing operational. So for Marty, whose uh, generator it is, uh, thanks for your patience. And uh, I want to remind everybody that I'll be at Carlisle, Pennsylvania in a couple of weekends, the, around the 21st or so. And I look forward to seeing uh, all kinds of MG owners there. So until then, see ya.